I have known Mara since she was three. I'm her Ninong. I have become her friend, her big brother, her father, and you have only known Mara for four years. And uh, Patrick, I want to ask you, are you sure? guy's kind of cute. But as you know, I was warned by many of your colorful past. But heck, I thought, I always wanted to try being the girl who played the player, so I agreed to go out with you. Today we witnessed a beautiful wedding. We saw two lovebirds in the church walk down the aisle, celebrate their love. And among those two lovebirds, we first saw an eagle. The eagle that we saw was my beautiful sister, Mara. Mara, the valedictorian of grade school and high school, Mother Marie Eugenie Awardee, which is the highest thing you could ever get if you go to Assumption. In college, magna cum laude. But I said there were two lovebirds. There was another bird present there. The problem with the other bird was uh, what did my sister say? Colorful past. From the colorful past, if you could remember, there's only one colorful bird that comes to mind. It's called a savi manok, or a chicken for the foreigners. The bird that does not fly. The chicken, Patrick. So now that you're married to an eagle, Patrick, I dare you to be better. So if Mara the eagle doesn't make you better, I don't know, man. We should just have you for dinner. And there's only one thing that I ask of you from her is to learn to love her and continue to learn to love her and relearn to love her. Keep learning to love all the sides of man. And if you can do this in front of all our family and friends, I promise I will learn to love you too. Cheers. Mara, today, I have to admit, is now 
more yours than ours. She is now Mara Reyes, no longer Mara Rusine Banson. Please do not forget one of the more important reasons on why you married Mara today. You married Mara because she is the one person in this world and the one person in your life that you have chosen to try and make the happiest for the rest of your life. You will never find a more beautiful, more beautiful bride. <laughs> that I can assure you. <laughs> My precious bird. <laughs> please take care of her. <laughs> and please so remember to always make her feel you love her. And I mean always, I don't mean every day, I mean every moment. Make her feel your love. She's my precious daughter. Did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband? Yes, Father. Patrick, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife? Yes, Father. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the laws of Christ and His Church? Yes, yes Father. Father. I, Mara, take you, Patrick, for my lawful husband. According to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church, I give myself to you as your wife, and I accept you as my lawful husband. I, Patrick, take you, Mara, for my lawful wife, according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church. I give myself to you as your husband, and I accept you as my lawful wife. chicken right but yeah I agree he is a chicken but he's not any normal kind of chicken he's a fighting cock this guy okay this guy when he sets his mind on something he really does it it's been mentioned earlier he has focus he's very passionate he set his mind on being the varsity basketball team oh he made it and then college he has actually BMH Guys, BMH, Patre, yes. Uh, but he didn't graduate from there. But okay lang. <laughs> when we were fourth year though, he, his thesis was the highest in the batch. But given all of these things that he's worked hard for, there's one thing that he's never really had to work for. And we all know that uh, this is his charisma with the ladies. But then the thing is, with Mara, it was different na. Because... It was Pat that was running after Mara. Given all his focus, all his passion, he had to work really hard to get Mara. And as smarter people than me have said, the, when you work hard for something, you really value 
that something. And he valued it so much that we're all here today. So, good job again, Pat. And I think that's really the smartest move he's ever made in his life. So Pat, even if you're not a valedictorian in high school or a valedictorian in college, I think we can all say that you're a valedictorian in life. Okay? So Pat Reyes, the valedictorian in life. It's been incredibly difficult to put into words what I wanted to say to you today, my love. But it all comes down to just two things for me. Nothing more, nothing less. First, how unimaginably thankful I am to God to have you in my life. And second, that starting today, I make it my life's mission to look after you. It's the way you always find me Oh, you see my wandering heart Very early on, I already knew you were the one for me Because from the start, loving you has felt so natural you have allowed me to be me. You have made me feel a level of joy and love I never even knew existed. I truly believe that you are living proof that God loves me and He will take care of me even when I doubt His plans and His ways. In your embrace, I feel most safe, protected, and loved. You are, without question, life's greatest gift. And like any gift, the only thing you can really do is accept it and be thankful to Him and thankful to you. Thank you for taking the ultimate leap of faith, for entrusting your life to me, even before I could say it was mine to take. Though the road ahead was not always clear, you called Shotgun and said, let's do this.
live true to the saying, wherever you go, I shall go. Your dreams shall be mine. Because I choose you. So wherever you are, that's where my home will be. Life is too short to waste it on something mediocre, especially love. A line from an old movie goes, Today, I commit to making this love extraordinary. So take my hand, sweetheart. Don't be afraid. The very best is yet to come.